Sorry, day 542 of Russia's war against Ukraine. I'm still in Chernihiv. The six-year-old who was killed, by the way, was called Sofia. Uh, this wasn't a military target. This is the drama theater behind me, all smashed up. Uh, by the way, I'll uh, do a quick circuit. It is uh, raining at the moment, and there is a thunderstorm. And every now and then, the thunder rolls. And I, for one, don't like it because it's the possibility of a Russian attack. Remember that the, the Russian army got very close to Chernihiv up in the northeast of Ukraine last year. They almost encircled the place and uh, very beautiful, lots of uh, lovely bits of history, thousand year old churches. And uh, the Russian army, of course, um, hit it with um, artillery, stuff like this, but they didn't smash the place up. And after the Russian army left in April, this part of the world has been pretty safe and so smashing a great big cruise missile into the place as they did yesterday they were bound to kill civilians and of course they did um, so as I said the youngest who was killed was Sophia age six something like more than a hundred people have been injured um, why did they do this I don't know I don't know but this is intimidation and generating fear amongst the civilian population at peace it is once again a russian war crime how do we stop these war crimes i'll say it one more time we've got to give the ukrainians what they need in terms of long-range rocket artillery and f-16s and simple things like suvs and ammunition and bullets and guns again and again and again so the russians start losing this war big time and then they'll stop the killing oh and by the way russia sent a rocket to the moon it span out of control and it crashed vladimir putin do fuck off